is the trying to finish the exercise to design a mutation of D54AC in human. I'm attached to protein and I want to engineer uh, this uh, mutation into yeast. And uh, there is the online protocol uh, link here. Now, the uh, the key is really we need to find the equivalent side of d 54 ac uh, from human to yeast. And because the uh, uh, human and the uh, yeast uh, gene it will have different lengths and there are some insertion and deletion. So 548 in human uh, MSH2 is most likely not at the same place as in yeast. So uh, let's first uh, align the hu yeast and human MSH2 protein. So I'm just picking the first isoform. And after I'll copy paste that, copy that copy, uh, edit, copy, and then uh, go to the EMDL class of align. Also, show color just to easy to count. So, we need to identify the 548C in human uh, MSH2. So, this the human is the bottom sequences 506, that's human ended here. So, 566. So, this should be somewhere in between 506 and 560. So, 548 is somewhere here. Uh, it turns out uh, if you, you can count from 06, you count 42, that should be a G here. It's exactly is this G. So what I often do, I don't want to count. I just select all those and then uh, copy the sequence. And then I'm going to use Microsoft Word to count this. Can you just say one more time why you're selecting that? Well, uh, I'm looking for 548G. Right. So uh, G458, okay. I'm looking at it. There's a, there's a G here. I don't see G over there. They don't, uh, so that's a, that G most likely is 548G. Okay. But I don't want to count this myself. Uh, so I just select those sequences and then. Oh, you're counting. Okay. Yeah, counting in the Microsoft Word. I paste the sequences. Wait, my take a while to paste. It's a very slow time. Okay, and then I go to tools, uh, word count. Yeah, 42 letters. So there, 42 plus 506 are 548. So that, that, that's the position. Now, that's 42. And now here is the east. East, this position is 524. And so 42 plus 524, that will be 566. Right. So basically, in East, this position becomes a 5. And that uh, amino acid is also G in East. And I need to change that G into C. That's basically what I need to do now. So that's a. So, so that's what it, I'm sorry. That's what it is in human. That's what in East G five six six C, G five forty A C is in human. So in East is okay. G five six six C. Okay. Right. So that's what I need to do. But G five, each amino acid has three nucleotides. So I, I times three, uh, that would be a. 1698. But 1698, that's the last nucleotide position of that codon. Each codon has three positions. So this is one codon, two codon. The third codon should be 16. 
There should be three codons for this amino acid. For that G. For that G, there should be three codons. Now, that's so. And you look at the. So w we have aligned this, found out the equivalent uh, Cochrane site in East. I'm yes. Sorry, when you Draw the line, each of the line of each of those two G. Why is why have each of them G if there's three <coughs> different codons? This G is amino acid, this is glycine. Okay, so it's made up by those three nucleotides. Okay. okay. There will be three nucleotides on the DNA sequences code for this glycine. Okay. Those are the uh, there should be a triplet. of nucleotide, that's a definition of a coda, genetic code And C is 1699, 1696, 97, 98 should be that code Okay, and you need in C, oh no, C, never mind, okay. Yeah. So, uh, in fact, uh, we can go back to the yeast uh, uh, sequences. Th this is the yeast uh, DNA sequences, coding sequences. And we can uh, put that into APE and verify whether that is the case or not. So I'm um, paste this. <coughs> and this is uh, East MS2. And then I can say select from 1696 to 1698. And when I see a codon GGT, and then we can go back to the genetic codon, see whether GGT is the glycine or not. Genetic codon G, G, uh, where is the G? Uh, GG. Oh, this is too small. I, my eyes really <laughs> cannot see this. GC. GT. GGT. Okay, it is glycine. Okay, yeah. So now we're, it's kind of a, a, a self, a, quite a self assurance. Uh, GGT. So we, but we need to change that to C, which is a cysteine. Now we look for the C, uh, cysteine, amino acid C, where is that C? Here, I see the yeah, cysteine, cysteine. But uh, those 0 0.63, 0 0.37, that's the frequency of that codon being used by yeast. And here, the 0.63, that 63% is TGT. That's the, uh, in yeast, the, the cysteine, is encoded by TGT 63% of the time uh, and uh, TGC 37% of the time. So some of it is 100%, so cysteine is only encoded by two genetic codons in yeast uh, with TGT as the preferred codon. So what I need to do is to change that GGT into TGT. So this this mutation going to basically is GGT will be changed to TGT. That mutation. It's going to be basically that G will be changed to T and then I'll have this in this. <coughs> so so and now the question I not asking to, to generate that single mutation, it's also asking to generate uh, design a primer to introduce that mutation. A primer, so the way the question asks us to design primer, we're going to have 10 base pair to the left and 10 base pair nucleotide to the right. So to the left, uh, 10 base pair, 
10 nucleotides, that would be 1686. And to the right, I have 10 nucleotides, that would be 1708. So I, I go back to APE. Uh, I'm going to select, this time I'm going to 1686 to 1708. That's correct. Uh, 1786, 1708. And then I say copy, put a new file, uh, paste uh, the sequence there. So the GGT should be something in the middle. Yeah, that's the GGT in the right in right there in the middle, with a ten to the left, ten to uh, ten to the right. I need to change that G into what? T. T. That's right. Yeah. So that's it. So this should be my primer, mutagenic uh, side direct mutagenic primer to introduce the G548 <coughs> C human mutation into E. Okay. Um, I was thinking when we get the so like the 1696? 1, okay. 1696? Why the 1696? Yeah, like, yeah, I saw one with counting the time 566C and then I don't know where we got 1696. Well, in time 3, 566, each nucleotide has, uh, each amino acid has three nucleotides. In time 3, 1698, that's the last uh, nucleotide in that coda. So multiply five sixty six times three. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can you can try this uh, on your own. Uh, if you write it down, you write the uh, say amino acid, write amino acid say the first one is the methionine, the second one is the A, then the C, um, and then you say the first uh, the first one should be A P E, A should be something something, G should be uh, something something. Well, we, we just know G uh, here. Let's use GGT here. Right. And the amino acid is 1, 2, 3. What's the G, the last one? It's time 3 is 9. Right. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Your nine the last one is 9. But what's the first uh, nucleotide in the G code? That's uh, this one, 7. 